And here he is. He's just going to go for a nice little ride on Onyx. His first time. And these days, Margaret is found sitting knitting quietly and here they are they're just chatting away and playing a little make-believe here margaret is making a nice dinner for easter for her family and here we have just the family has come around here you go welcome to the neighborhood and here andrew is he is just chatting with these two kids i think he's taking a little bit of a liking to little latisse Hello, all you fabulous and wonderful people. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back for some more of the Ultimate Decades Challenge. So, it is currently Saturday. It is the third quarter of 1357. Tomorrow, we are going to be having Easter and we're going to try and get all of the family over and celebrate that. When I sat down to record today, I, I did go ahead and create a new family that I have moved in. Let me just show you really quick. So we had Clifton Ham that was living right here in this house. I have now made this family. They are the Alton family. So it is a husband and wife and four children. They have two children, a toddler and an infant. So I want our family to be meeting them and see how they get along. I did change the house. So I actually placed down this house over here and then I just modified it a bit. So maybe we can take a look at that at some point. Clifton Ham was in this house. I have moved him into this household over here with these two other guys that I will some point give a little makeover to maybe or I might move them out and move in another family that has kids. The reason I made this family is because I realized that I didn't have any kids families. I do have this. This was the Bennett household and the youngest. They've all died since this point but the youngest was here Adam Bennett and he's in war so I may move in another family here we'll have to see I also with Andrew here who did make his childhood roles he's facing the wall right now I have gone ahead and downloaded the literacy mod and I'm gonna try he's gonna play right there Wow I'm gonna get him to do that now, with the literacy mod, you can either purchase a book, which I have for one simoleon, and he can practice reading, or you don't even have to have that. You can literally click on them, and you can practice reading on them as well. For right now, we're going to let them be. They're going to just take care of themselves. She does need to eat. I think we were making a... Yeah, she did get the bread. So I think we can come over here now, and we can make this cheese meat and bread. And now Andrew can help out on this farm. I am so excited about this. Now, what I don't know is where Onyx is. Oh, he's over here and he's uncomfortable. I think he can do some interactions. Yes. So I'm going to kind of have Andrew. He can ride him. Okay. I wasn't sure if children could ride on horses or not. So I will get him to do that. Go for a relaxed ride. Okay. I don't know. Is that fun for the horse? Because Onyx's fun is really low. I'm wondering if that's going to raise his fun. So I'm actually going to have him go for a nice relaxed ride. I do see this cow needs to get cleaned as well. And here is little Andrew. He is just going to get on Onyx here. Oh, they laid down. Oh my gosh. I have not seen this yet. And I had this pack since it came out. Wow. I don't know why. I've just not had kids do this. That was adorable. Now he has acquired the horse riding skill. And let's see if we can't go for a relaxed ride. I don't know if this is fun for him. It is. Yes, it is raising Onyx's fun. I love this. Oh, and guess what? Andrew loves horse riding. Uh, yay. And here he is. He's just going to go for a nice little ride on Onyx. His first time. Hopefully he doesn't get bucked off. 
And it is working his motor skill, I see. That is cool. I'm just curious to see where it's gonna take him. He is going out away from the farm, I see. And I think I'm gonna have her, she's cleaning up currently. I'm gonna have her do this laundry real quick. And of course we'll set it down. Oh wait, what? Oh, she didn't actually set the clothes on the floor. I can't believe it. Usually she'll set it down. And here she is, just gonna do some laundry. They usually pick it out of the basket and set it on the floor and leave it. She actually picked up what was on the floor and came right over here and is washing it. Oh my gosh. I'm not sure where they're going, but they're going. This is quite a long, relaxed ride. Andrew is in his element, and because he is doing something, he prefers increased his fun gain. Oh, nice. And as always, I have forgotten about this. But we're pristine and soaked, so we're gonna stop and hang it up on the line really quick. And Sims will now be able to talk about riding with Onyx. He's reached endurance level three. Okay, so he is just sitting there. He is gonna dismount, I guess. How about you don't dismount, we'll just go home. Oh my gosh, he's gone so far. He's gone way over here by the castle and she's going off to knit on her own. I'm gonna let her knit and he has made it safely home and now we can dismount here. Can we feed Onyx? His hunger is very poor. I don't think we can hand feed. Yeah, it requires food such as hay, apples, carrots, or strawberries. Oh, you know what? We do have some of that. We have like a lot of carrots, I think. We have 70. I'm gonna take a couple of these and put them on Andrew, and I'm gonna have him feed. From time to time, as a nice little treat, he can feed Onyx. Hand feed a carrot. Oh, he's peeing! Oh my gosh! <gasps> the horse Onyx peed on him! Here you go, Onyx. Here's a nice carrot. I don't know how much that is gonna do for his hunger. Not much at all. Let's see about giving him a, another one. And we'll scratch his neck. Andrew needs to come in here and uh, take care of himself a bit. And these days, Margaret is found sitting Knitting quietly. Maybe she's thinking about Edric and wondering how he's doing and how she wishes that he could see their son growing up so quickly and that he rode his first horse and all these first things that as Andrew is doing and has to do now without the presence of a father figure here. Okay, she, I guess she knitted socks. Purple stripe and she did this on her own. So I'm gonna save these. I'm gonna, um, we're gonna eventually sell them at the market. We don't really need any money, but you know, it's nice to have. And she's thinking about her family member, apparently. I'm gonna have her come over here and craft some nectar, maybe. We can do an apple nectar. And here she is, just, just stomping and making some wine. And she has acquired the nectar making skill. I guess she hadn't done that, huh? And he has this rain in the scenery. A beautiful ride across the landscape is just what Andrew needed. And here he is, he's just enjoying some nice food. Okay, she has acquired her first bot. I guess I never had her make this. So let's see what it is. It's probably not very good. It is poor. I kind of thought it would be. We're gonna stick it in this one. I guess Marilda and Edric were the only ones that made any nectar. I could have sworn Margaret did. Oh, it was Annette that made it. I'm gonna have him do a little bit of the reading for a little bit and then he's gonna go off to bed. Yeah, and he has acquired the literacy skill, so he now has that right there. Maybe he's gonna be a poet one day. And he's sitting here chatting with his mom while she's eating and he's, he's working on this reading business. It is getting pretty late. I'm gonna send him off to bed up here. He can come over here. I'm gonna have him actually, we're gonna assign this bed to Andrew and then he can go to sleep and then she's gonna go to sleep. He's almost to the next level in this so I'm gonna let him finish it. He's so close. And Andrew is active. Active sims tend to be energized and enjoy exercise. All right, and he is now level two of the literally literacy skill. Okay, so he is gonna go off to bed. I am gonna buy a hamper. I'm literally just gonna get another hamper to put up here just so that they don't go on the uh, floor here. And it is 
Easter and I realized that he probably would have a chamber pot up here. So I am actually gonna get him one and we can use. I mean, that's probably a really bad, bad place to be putting it. Yep, and all our animals are starting to um, be unhappy. So after they eat, they'll come out here and take care of these animals. Okay, he got that done, and I'm gonna have him come out here and uh, straight away refill this and clean out the shed and this horse be taking care of the chickens, apparently. I'm gonna have her come out here and clean this coop, and I don't think we need to scatter the feed. <laughs> we got enough, it seems like. And we did get two hatchable eggs. Oh, and we got three special eggs. All right, we are going to clean his hooves. So the special eggs, I'm just gonna end up selling this. She's got a few things on here that I can sell, like these toys we don't need. I doubt she's gonna have any children soon, so we'll just get rid of those. And then we can put these excellent uh, eggs in here. And I don't think we have room for any more chickens, do we? We have five chicks two hens and a rooster. So I am not going to be hatching any eggs anytime soon. Maybe we can go over to the new neighbors later and give them to them. So we'll put those in there for now. And now he can clean this cow and feed and we'll go ahead and milk and socialize with him. And here she is just cleaning Onyx's hooves now that Edric is gone. She, her and Andrew together are gonna, you know, take care of the farm. I'm gonna have them, as soon as he's done with the cow, I'm gonna have them attend the ceremony, I think, and then we'll get the family around. The reason I'm doing that is one, I feel like they would go to some kind of a mass early in the day, morning, and two, I always tend to forget about the church thing and it's late in the evening. So I'm gonna have them just do that. He doesn't have to do it, but she does. And then we'll get the family around and do all these other things. It says that we have to do some baking. Maybe I'll go ahead and let her do some baking. Let's, let's see what we can do as far as baking. We can make pie. We can make a rabbit pie, spinach tart. We don't have anything else there. And I think the pudding counts as baking as well. We can make a sponge cake and we can make a carrot pudding. I don't know what they would make on Easter, but I feel like maybe there might be something sweet. I don't know. I'm gonna have her go ahead and make this cake maybe. And then when we have all of the family around, we will actually cook a dinner. And here Andrew is just cleaning the cow and taking care of all of this farm. All his responsibilities, he's gonna be a nice, respectable young man. Okay, and he got milk from this cow, so we can put those away. And as soon as she gets this done, we are gonna go to the mass. Yep, she's got it done, and she got that counted. So we'll just put that over this right here. And then we're gonna have her go attend. It says we can go with Andrew, we'll see. And maybe he can go. Maybe he will go. Oh, yeah. He's queued up to go. He just doesn't have it on here. Andrew ignores this child uh, from being a child, I guess. He doesn't have to. And there they go. They're going off to church service. And they have come back. And we're going to get the family around here real quick. So I thought I would come here and thought I would do a social event instead of just having Easter. I think I can throw just... I was going to do like a party or something. A dinner party but I noticed here there's an archery competition we're gonna have to do this at some point I think this would be so much fun so I will have to look at doing that anyways I think we're just gonna do like a dinner party so I think we'll be able to get most of these things I think it will be okay with Easter we'll see so we just might not do this dancing is all not everybody showed up in this like um, Samuel and Theodore. I don't know why they would... Oh, they've aged up into toddlers. So I will just see if I can teleport them over here. They didn't show up in our list. I did get manage to get Theodore over here, but Samuel wants to just disappear. You have to get it really fast. You have to get them to actually 
you know, say hello really, really quickly or else they disappear with the toddlers. Okay, there we got him. We've got them. I'm going to give them a makeover here in just a second. Okay, we have met them and we'll go ahead and have her meet them as well. We've got everybody over here, but I'm going to give these two boys a makeover. These are Catalina and Roger's twin boys. So it turns out they had a little baby girl. I'm happy for them because they have just the two boys. But these two little boys, we need to give them a makeover. They are now toddlers. So I'm going to leave this haircut, I think, for him. Let's take off the skin and see. Yup, they look all... I feel like my toddlers all look the same, yo. They all look in the same. So let's just take off this skin and of course we'll get different hairs, but let me give them a quick makeover. Okay, so here's little Samuel. This is all his outfits. I did just keep his hair the same, but there we go. All the outfits are the same always. I really need to find and look and hunt for more new ups. UCC and then here is little Theodore and these are all his outfits. They're the same as his brothers only different colors. That's it. That's it Margaret is gonna come in here and we are going to Make a meal. We have to call guests to a meal So she's gonna come over here and let's see what we can make as far as a meal We can make some salads or fried fowl. Let's try this one from the Roman cooking scrolls They got a little bit different ones Oh, here we go. We can do this. We can do lamb chops, wild boar, roasted chicken, or roast pheasant. I'm going to have her do this since we've got everything here. And we'll have her do this bigger one. And they're eating the cake already. Look at that. They're eating the cake. I didn't realize I dressed these two girls, Catalina and Sybil, so similar. And let's have him come over here to Norman. He hasn't met Norman yet. And Norman is the one that's closest. Okay, so apparently we have just got that. So we've met four Sims and let's have them play a little bit while she's getting the dinner around. We have to achieve level five of the social skill. And so we're going to give a hug. And I think maybe they must be talking about the war. They had a cannon uh, show up and he's level three of the social skill already. And here they are. They're just chatting away and playing a little make believe. Oh, and giving a hug. How nice is this? Here Margaret is making a nice dinner for Easter for her family. What's left? And there it is. Wow, that is huge. So we'll go ahead and we are going to call to meal. And she's like, everybody, come on. Dig into this big old pl plate. Oh, my God. It's huge. Oh, it's so big. And he needs to come quick grab a serving before it's all gone. And apparently our pantry is broken. I do see. So she's going to have to fix that. So we have to tell stories and sing about Easter to get that checked off. We're already going to get gold on this dinner party. Here is Margaret and Andrew sitting here chatting away. How cute are they? And here we have just the family has come around. Oh, what a nice family this is. Oh, she'd be looking sad. Her mom is looking real sad. Even though Edric is gone at the war, they're trying to make ends meet and do the best that they can. Okay, I'm going to have him come over to little Norman. And they he is going to sing. I think he can activities sing about Easter. And we need to tell a story, I guess. Is that under small talk? Share Easter excitement. He's like, yeah, Easter. It is the time for family here. Oh, and they're all just sitting here. She's talking with her brother, Arnold. She is going to sing about Easter. What are you talking about marriage commitments, yo, little boy? We're going to share the Easter spirit. And she also has to sing. I did tell her to sing to her mother, sing about Easter. I'm going to get little Andrew to clean this up. And I'm going to have little Andrew is going to come throw all this stuff away. And here they all are just laughing. And maybe they're sharing some memories of the fa of the guys that have gone off to war. Talking about her dad and Edric and her brother all gone off to war. This is the time that family should really come together and bond together. He got everything checked off there. 
So this party is going to be ending here. So I'm going to have him go ahead and thank her for coming. And I think it's somewhere around here. I don't know why, but they all did pop up. And every they're just throwing. They're trying to clean up, but it's just getting thrown everywhere. And her mom did get the clothes off the line for us. How nice was that? And we did get this complete. We uh, had an amazing dinner party. So that is good. Dinner, we got gold on that. And little Andrew is off taking a bath. I am gonna get her to come out here. Where is Onyx now? Onyx is right here. He do want some fun. Actually, no, I'm just gonna have Onyx to get his fun up. He's just gonna come do practice some barrels. And little Andrew is off to bed. It is nine. And she likes hosting, I guess. She got the host masterpiece to invite, to entertain, to charm, and to regale. Uh, regale? Regale? The host who has succeeded at these may take pride in a job well done. Oh, that's cool. I'm going to actually get her to um, repair this, I think. And now she's dazed because she got seriously fried. Oh no. She's going to uh, take a bath and then go to bed. And Easter is over. It was pretty good for Andrew and it was pretty good for Margaret. So they had a good holiday. They had it spent with family, which is always nice. And especially in this time. And it is Monday morning. And they're going to get up and go about their day here. And he's doing push-ups. He likes fitness. It is the first quarter of 1358. So Edric, by this point, Edric has been gone to the war for a year. And they're getting along just fine. Here they sit all quiet this morning, eating their food, talking. And they'll get their day started taking care of all the animals and I'm glad we harvested when we did because look at all these have disappeared now totally just disappeared I'm gonna have Andrew come out here and spend a little time with Onyx he's he's uh, I'm feeling a little bit uncomfortable he's wanting to have fun but I am going to get him to go for a ride actually you know what let's take Margaret as well we're gonna go introduce ourselves this morning to the neighbors. We're gonna take some chickens over to them so we can get rid of some of these. We have a white rooster that is an adult. We will go ahead and put that in our inventory. We also have a young adult black hen and a young adult black hen. I am going to take this brown hen. We'll take one rooster and one hen with us to the new neighbors. Then that'll free up some space here. We've got three rooster chicks. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and travel. I'm gonna have her come over here and knock on the door. So I basically moved this tree that was over here to over here and moved things around. I made it bigger and we've got the coop still. I added some farm plots and I just basically put on a second story up here just to make it a little different. And I put den down more places to sit in here. I think I might go back and do the same to Catalina and Raj's house, make it bigger so that when we go over, it won't be so cramped. We're gonna come over here and introduce ourselves to these new neighbors. And there's a bunch of kids here. So we'll have Andrew introduce himself over here. We'll give her a funny introduction. So and this is real quick. Let me introduce you to the Sims. So we have, these are the Altons and they're basically musicians. They're really, all of them, everybody in this family love music. And so they're kind of like musicians and stuff. But this is Elias, who is basically Andrew's age. And then his sister, Latisse. He's a little older and she is a little younger. But this is Latisse, I believe is how you say it. It looks like lettuce, but I'm saying Latisse. This is Parnell. She is the third child. And then there is an infant. Where did they, they just laid this infant boy down? Her Herman. Alton. We're going to go ahead and give a present. Let's give, and I guess our bills are due. That's all right. We are going to give a gift. We're going to give a friendly gift, white rooster, and then we will give him the other one. And she's like, for a new neighbor, we're the welcome wagon. So here you go. And she didn't seem to not like it. Here you go. Welcome to the neighborhood. And we're going to ask to be introduced to this baby, I think. She's chatting with Giles 
and Andrew, apparently. Yeah. So this is Giles Alton, and this is Amis Alton. I think that's how you say it. That's how I'm pronouncing it. I could be pronouncing it wrong for all I know. But it's just a family sims that I have made. And this little baby boy, we're gonna ask to be introduced to him. Andrew's come inside. I wanted you to play with the little kids. Let's come over here and talk about toys. And we are gonna spend time to get to know these kids. We're gonna enthuse about horse riding with them and tell a goofy story. We need to have a BFF, so we'll see how they get along. And here Andrew is, he is just chatting with these two kids and getting to know them a bit better. And he's level four, my gosh, he levels up so quickly. We are going to discuss some interest and we're gonna get to know her. I think he's taking a little bit of a liking to little Latisse. And he is happy, he is like pleasant conversation. A great conversation always peps up the spirits. And he's level five, he found out that she's a music lover. She's like, yeah, my family's all into music. We love music. He's like, oh, my family likes music too. It's just me and my mom right now. My dad has gone off to war. We are gonna ask about her day. They're all going inside. She's going, she's like, I'm sorry, I'm going to bed. And it looks like the mom is out here working with the little, um, little girl. I think they're all in here. Yeah, he's sitting here in this bed and she's going up to bed herself. All right, we're gonna go ahead and it's in the afternoon. We're gonna, he's met. I'm gonna make sure that he has met everybody. Look at the friendship on this one. He's like gotten more friendship with her than him. And we've done the same amount of interactions. But I just wanted to get them on their list so we can start including them to do things with. Oh, why are you sad, yo? Why are you, Catalina, so sad? I don't know. We are gonna go ahead and head home. All right, and we are back here with them. And let's make sure everybody's doing good. And they are. I'm gonna have him. How are we doing here? We have two left. They're gonna go ahead and grab the this. All right, you guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. So it is Monday, late afternoon, almost to evening, and it is the first quarter of 1358. And we had a good Easter and they've gone and met the new neighbors. And hopefully we can get Andrew to get to know them a bit more. Maybe we can have them come over and stuff. And I'm also gonna be creating more families and adding them into the world and seeing about meeting them and everything. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, it would be amazing if you did. And also don't forget to click the little bell to get notified whenever I have a video go up. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.